Part one, the boondocks, the classics. We have been walking for 10 minutes and haven't passed one subway stop, ball court, Chinese carryout place, or rib shack. Riley, we're pilgrims in their own unholy land. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 1999, Eric McGrudder. Yo, this started way back. This is 90s-ish. Yeah. That's the first page, yeah. Really nice artwork. Even the backgrounds. Pay attention to backgrounds and the art. Okay. Bradley, we're not in Chicago anymore. These people are well off, comfortable. These are not the hard streets of the South Side. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I think so. I'm the hardest, baddest thing for miles, and I could run a mock here without fear. No, let me try this again. Woodcrest's newest residence. Huey and Riley Freeman explore their surroundings and continue to adjust to their new environment. Yes, Riley. Huey, what is that smell? Clean air. My guess is we'll, we'll get used to it eventually. I hope so. This place stinks. Boy, shut up. Go grab a box. All I'm saying is that I was perfectly happy in Chicago. And I don't want to live in the middle. Okay, fine. Look, it's Bull Corner with, with that firehouse duck. You? That's our neighbor. Watching this car. Oh. Shoot that never. Let that boy watch. Eyes on the prize. The next time it might really be him. Why should we be forced to live in fear? Family talk time, fellas. I know you both been wondering why I move us halfway across the country to Woodcrest. Well, boys, your grandfather has survived nearly 70 years on this earth as a black man. And you know... That ain't easy. Always dream of owning a house. Someplace beautiful like this. A nice quiet place where I can retire and live the rest of my life away from the problems of the city. With really big oak trees in the yard and lakes nearby to go fish. I don't like, I don't have to like any of these people here. And they don't have to like me. Well, what about us, Granddad? You don't have to like me either. Now, Scoop, it's time for Celebrity Deathmatch. <laughs> ah, celebrity Deathmatch. Hey, oh, funny, oh, funny right there. This is, just a, this is a good intro, introduction right here. Should have been had in the cartoon. Yeah, this page 13, y'all. Keep going. One more. Oppressors run and hide. Fear the arrival of the righteous. I, Huey Freeman, represent your darkest fear. I am a black freedom fighter. My knowledge of self shines boldly in the face of the beast. You see from hatred? Will not. What the? Aren't you just to kill this thing? It's a big old cutie pie. That's what you all. Young man, you are so adorable. I would love to just take you home with me. I'm, oh, look, my phone getting blurry. I bet you would. Maybe have me sitting around your house. 
being docile like a bad 80s sitcom, huh? Do I look like Gary Coleman or Emmanuel Lewis to you? Am I supposed to use cute little slang and be your little black stuffed doll? Well, this is one black man who would not be demascul demasculized. I'm nobody's pet Negro. Is that understood? What was that, sweetie? My hearing isn't what it used to be. Oh, never mind. Look, Huey. Someone's moving in across the street. Black or white? Looks like both. Both. Yep, and they got a daughter, too. Black or white? Depends. Can a white person have an afro? Only if they paint landscapes on the public television. Oh, ho, 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 Bobby Ross. Bobby Ross. Shot fire. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's it. Two pages today. 13 and 14. I'll be back for another time for the auto books. Out of here.